Hello, CalTPA community. This is Keisha, and I'm excited to share with you today the fourth part in the four-part series of Simplify the CalTPA, Getting to Know the Overview of Expectations for the TPA. During this series, we've talked about what you need to know essentially for each of the four parts of the CalTPA, plan, teach, reflect, and apply. We have talked about what you need to plan your lesson and what you need to consider when you think about your students. We've talked about how to teach and use the videos and annotations to show that you know how to focus on what's essential from the video requirements while writing your, your annotations. We focused on reflecting in part three where we're reflecting on how the lesson went. And today is the apply piece. <clears throat> You are going to apply your learning to the next lesson that you are going to create. In cycle one, you write the lesson. In cycle two, you write the lesson and actually teach it and record it. These, these pieces of application are all about next steps for learning in the content area that you chose, right? If students fully understand what happened and they evidence supports the fact that they had full understanding of the lesson, then it's time to move forward and extend their learning to deepen their understanding of concept or learning that you had. If there was struggles and students didn't fully understand it, or there was a group of students who needs to better understand the content before you move forward, that it's essential that they get it before you go any further, then you're going to create a reteach lesson. Reteach um, needs to be done with new and different strategies because if they didn't get it the way you taught it before, doing it the same way again is probably not the solution. Or extension where you can build on the strategies that you already use, adding things to deepen the learning even further or choose the next standard that's coming up and talk about how it extends their understanding of the lesson that you just taught. No matter how you do it, the apply piece is all about your next steps for learning. So be very careful to be detailed and specific in writing up your next steps lesson plan. Look at your rubric to understand how to add UDL, ELD, and high order thinking into that lesson so that you can reach for the levels four and five on the rubric. Now listen, this project is a beast, right? Many people come to me because they're overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, failed, frustrated, don't have the support that they need. And I'm done with that. And so I don't want you to fail. Failure is not an option. You have to continue to do it in order to get your credentials. So let's pass it the first time by following the examples, the easy to follow step-by-step -step lessons in the Cal TPA All You Need to Succeed program. I created that program based on all of my knowledge, all of my expertise from helping hundreds of teachers pass their TPA. 100% of the feedback from this program has been positive, excited, and grateful for the work that, has, that they have um, been able to do and the examples that they've been able to follow so that they could pass on the first time. And I want you to have the exact same opportunity as your peers. So get the Cal TPA All You Need to Succeed program. Join me in the Cal TPA group on Facebook and get all the support you need, answers to questions that you have. Tag me for <clears throat> immediate and on um, ongoing support while you're working. You don't need to wait days or weeks or whatever for your professor to get back to you in your email maybe even give you limited and unhelpful information. I provide the support that you need because I am passionate about seeing new teachers thrive. I wanna see you in the classroom. You're dedicated, you're hardworking, and you're ready to make an impact on student lives. Let's make that the focus of your day, the nights and the weekends, instead of trying to pass this TPA. I look forward to being part of your journey. Thank you for being here for this series on what to do to simplify the Cal TPA by understanding the different parts of the Cal TPA. Please 
Let me know if you have any questions. Join me in the CalTPA group and I will see you soon. Have a great day.